everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have tons and tons of WWE action figures that we're going to be getting through. It's not tons and tons, but it is quite a few. we got a lot of stuff going on here, guys, and we need to go ahead and dive into it because there's just a lot to cover. Before we get into the stuff, though, I do want to give a huge shout-out to Dougie Nunya for this information. He has an Instagram page, Dougie Nunya. Go give him a follow. Go check him out. He revealed this news to us. It's a little leak see, and it's got a lot of traction, I would say. I would say that you can pretty much, I wouldn't say lock it up, but I would say that there is a pretty good chance. There's a really, really good chance that all of this will to come to fruition here. So let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. We have news on brand new Elite Series 85 and 86, as well as some new Basic Series, as well as some Championship Showdown packs, which we'll get into. But let's dive into the Elites first, guys. Let's start off with Elite Series 85. Now, we know some of the figures that are in Elite Series 85, but some of these I did not know about. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. The first one is going to be Bray Wyatt. Now, this one's interesting for me simply because uh, I I can't remember. I remember it was like a week or two ago. Remember, we had some new leaks and some new figures that are coming up with the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan and some other new figures, some new elites and stuff that were coming out that Unstable 1047 told us about. I can't remember if Bray Wyatt was a part of that list, but he is here on this list. So if I were to guess, if Bray Wyatt were getting a Bray Wyatt, it's not the Fiend. It is not a Fiend Bray Wyatt. So with that being the case, I would guess that it would have to be very similar to his basic, right? It's not going to be like the ringside exclusive we got. Remember, that figure totally flopped in my opinion. It didn't have a lot of details. It was really lackluster. It didn't really remind us of the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. I would guess that this one will be. I, I imagine this one will be the elite version of the basic, right? It's going to have the nice sculpted sweater. Maybe a brand new torso mold. Maybe they'll even do a really nice cloth sweater with the khaki pants, the really good Bray Wyatt head sculpt, maybe some puppet accessories. Maybe it can actually come with the accessories we were missing with that ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt and stuff like that. So maybe that's what they're going to think here with this Elite 85 Bray Wyatt. But that is what I would guess for him. Next up, guys, we have Becky Lynch. Now, Becky Lynch, she was in that video. Remember, because we talked about, you know, what attire could it possibly be for Becky Lynch? We speculated that it could be her pregnancy announcement attire where she gifted the championship over to Asuka in the briefcase. That is what I was guessing. You know, it could be that attire. The preg pregnancy announcement attire is what I was guessing. Maybe that's the case. We don't know what the figure looks like, but that, again, is what my guess will be. And that was the information that was leaked to us, and it looks like it is coming to fruition, so that's pretty interesting right there. Outside of those two figures, the rest of the figures we already knew about, right? The first one is Undertaker. He's in the Boneyard match. Figure looks really good. Can't wait to see what this one looks like. Liv Morgan is also in that set. She looks amazing. I really cannot wait for this Liv Morgan. I think it's head and shoulders above her other elite figure, so that's really good as well. We also have Aleister Black, who is going to be the Chase variant. You guys know he's going to come with this nice trench coat or his long entrance coat. It is going to be rubber, but it's got the nice spike, you know, shoulder pads and stuff like that. That'll be really cool. I'm interested to see what his Chase variant looks like as well. We'll have to see about that. And then the last couple in the wave are going to be Karrion Cross, which we already knew we were getting, which is going to be really sick. I think they knocked this figure out of the park. The details and stuff, it looks like this figure is going to be one of those that everybody is, you know, searching after. It's going to probably be one of the top figures of the year early on. Contender for figure of the year in 2021. And then we have the Walmart exclusive or the, you know, the exclusive that they put in every single set is going to be Kama, which we already have the render of from Ringside Collectibles. They posted that up and we did cover it here on the channel. So that is Elite Series 85. Pretty solid set. I'd say it's a pretty damn good set, especially if Bray Wyatt ends up being in that Firefly Funhouse attire. The only figure that would be kind of like eh would be kind of, I guess, what, Becky Lynch since we do have her Ultimate Edition, but getting a new updated Becky uh, compared to our Elite 72 will be pretty cool, and it'll still be a banger figure, I bet. So that'll be really, really nice to see. So Taker, Liv Morgan, Aleister Black, Becky Lynch, Kieran Cross, Bray Wyatt, and Kama make up our Elite Series 85. Now our next series, guys, is going to be Elite Series 86, and this one, you guys remember the other day, we reported that Elite Series 86 is going to be the SummerSlam wave. So being the SummerSlam wave, all of these figures are going to carry a SummerSlam theme, right? They're going to be from a SummerSlam in the past. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. This one's kind of upsetting for me, and then you guys are going to know immediately why. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's either going to be really damn good or really damn sad. So let's go ahead and break it down, guys. First off in the line is going to be Seth freaking Rollins. Now, there is two ways this could go. It could go all the way to heaven, or it can go burn in hell. So, right here, guys, we have Seth Rollins. Now, there's two options that it could be. It could be 2018 Seth Rollins, which would be beautiful, right? It'd be the Thanos attire that we really wanted. This would be the attire that was in the poll for the fan takeover vote. We ended up getting the WrestleMania 35 gear in the black and gold. Not the biggest deal. You know, we really wanted that Thanos gear. We've already had the basic version. We really wanted the elite version. Nobody voted for it. You know, they voted for the rest 
WrestleMania wave, whatever. It was like, damn, Brad. Really had an opportunity to get that Thanos in the collection. Really want that attire super, super badly. And then now we have an opportunity again. Is it going to be SummerSlam 2018 in that beautiful attire? Shout out to Mac Decals for the images for this custom Thanos Seth Rollins. Or is it going to be 2019 Seth Rollins, which would be the plain black gear that would look very, very similar to his top talents figure, right? Remember? I remember being super hyped for his attire. He walks out and I'm like, what in the blue hell is that? It was right before he transitioned into the Messiah and, uh, or it wasn't right right before, but you know, it was, we were getting that period. He was rocking the all black tights. It was like some of it had like this brightness to it. It had like the, the, the what, whatever you want to call it. It had like the shiny material on it. It looked kind of camo and gray pretty much. It was a really plain Jane attire and everyone was disappointed because of, you know, usually Seth Rollins breaks out the epic gear for SummerSlam and so for 2018 he had the Thanos gear. 2019 it was the all black gear. So hopefully it will be the Thanos gear and we don't get disappointed. But I had to point that out to you guys. So it's going to be really good or really crappy. I'm sure the 2019 would still be really good and hopefully they put some details in it. But I think having an opportunity to get that 2018 figure would be a very big missed opportunity right here when you put it in the SummerSlam Elite 86 wave. But moving forward guys, this one's kind of surprising to me. We have the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now this one right here to me is very odd because the first Fiend Bray Wyatt was, was I thought based off of this attire. It didn't have the prayer hands though on the chest. I'm guessing it's just going to be an updated Bray Wyatt Elite. We got the Elite 77 last year in the SummerSlam wave, mind you. Remember that? It was in the SummerSlam wave last year. Same wave this year, it seemed. And uh, the only thing would be, what, they'd update the hair? You remember they had the running change for the hair? We ended up getting that in the top talents. I'm guessing they may retool the figure. Maybe they'll do some new things with this. Maybe he'll come with a cloth jacket. Maybe that could be another thing they could add to the figure. Maybe the another lantern. I don't know. I, I don't know what they're thinking here, but it'll be interesting to see. <coughs> <laughs> It'll be very interesting to see how they improve the figure. Are they going to give it a jacket? Are they going to include the, the prayer hands? Are they going to update the head sculpt? What are they going to do to it? That'll be interesting to see, but I thought that was pretty interesting to see the Fiend Bray Wyatt here in this wave again. Next up is going to be Sid Justice. Now, if you know in the past, we have gotten a Sid Justice, but I'm kind of confused on this because I tried to look up a Sid Justice in SummerSlam attire, and I couldn't find any in his blue trunks. It looks like he was just a special guest referee, so I don't know. Are we going to get a special guest referee? Sid Justice in this SummerSlam wave. I thought that'd be a really weird release. I mean, it'd be a pretty interesting release. You could get the cloth pants. You could have the referee t-shirt. I don't know what they're thinking there. Or will it just be an elite version of the basic that we got all those years ago in the blue attire? I would guess it would just be the blue gear, but we'll have to see about that. But that was a pretty, actually, a lot of people love that basic. So hopefully it'll just be that basic converted into elite form and it'll fit right into the wave right there. Next up, guys, is Triple H. We already knew about Triple H. He's in the SummerSlam gear in the purple and then he has the Chase variant version, which is in the red and gold, which will also be good. So I'm excited for the Triple H. That's the only one really in this wave that we already know about. So there is the Triple H figure, and he is the Chase variant as we popped out. And uh, Alistair Black, uh, again to mention, is the Chase variant for Elite 85. Next up, guys, is going to be the Miz. Now, the Miz being in this wave is interesting. I'm guessing that it's going to be from 2018 with Daniel Bryan. We do have a basic from this figure. He was in the white gear, but this attire is super similar to his Elite, what was it, Elite 37? figure in the white and silver attire. I feel like it's very, very similar. It's not the exact same, but it's definitely similar. It's going to be pretty much that basic figure that we got in the SummerSlam basic line, but it's going to be an elite, or it could be from a different SummerSlam, but I don't know which one you would pick. I guess it could be a more throwback. It could, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. We'll have to deal with that and see what that is, but I would guess that it would be the white gear, but that there is that. Next up is going to be Carmella, which was in that future releases for 2021 that we knew we were getting a 28 18 Elite Carmella. Well, this Carmella is going to be from SummerSlam where she took on Charlotte with the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship in the pink attire. This attire is actually really sick. I think this figure could be very, very bomb depending on how good the head sculpt is. I think that's going to be what makes or breaks this figure because I know from the neck down, it's probably going to be damn good. I can already see that coming to fruition. Like, I can see it. I can already picture that happening. So, we'll just have to see if the Elite figure and the head sculpt and everything actually turns out like we want it to. So, that will be very interesting to see for sure with Carmella. But the attire I really, really like. The exclusive. So we're getting into the exclusive now, guys. It's going to be Colonel Mustafa or Colonel Mustafa. I, it's Colonel Mustafa. But you have the Iron Sheik's gimmick before he was Iron Sheik or you want to call it, you know, it's the Iron Sheik's other gimmick. You have Colonel Mustafa here and it is going to be Target exclusive. If I didn't mention before, Elite 85 comma is going to be Walmart exclusive. So that's another thing if you guys wanted to know that. So this will go hand in hand with a Sergeant Slaughter. And you guys remember in that video that we talked about for 2021 Elite, 
Titans. If you match it up, remember we said Sergeant Slaughter, and the Sergeant Slaughter, the only one we hadn't gotten was his other gimmick where he was a heel, and that would fit perfectly in with this Colonel Mustafa. So there is your tie-in. It goes perfectly hand-in-hand. -hand. It kind of matches up with the news we've been getting. So it looks like all this stuff's going to come to fruition, if I had to guess. I mean, it's lining up. The, the stars are aligning, and it looks like that is going to be the case. So there is your full Elite 86 wave. Seth Rollins, The Fiend Bray Wyatt, Sid Justice, Chase Variant, Triple H, The Miz, Carmella, and then you have the Colonel Mustafa as the Target exclusive right there. So that is Elite 85 and Elite 86. Next up, guys, we're getting into two basic waves. Now, I want to give a shout-out to this guy real quick. We're going to give a shout-out to Geek Exclusive underscore Bebe. That's the guy I got this information from right here on Instagram, so go definitely check him out. I don't know where he got it. I'm just saying where I got it from, but let's dive into Basic Series 119, guys. First up, we have John Cena. This one could be a lot of things, but I would guess it would be from WrestleMania 36. Nothing else really stands out in my mind unless it's a throwback or something like that. I highly doubt we're going to get that same head sculpt again. Maybe it could be in the NWO attire. Everybody maybe wants a figure of that because it was a cool moment at WrestleMania seeing him dressed up like that, playing the air guitar and stuff, so maybe that could be what that is. Next up is going to be Randy Orton. Going to be a, you know, regular basic Randy Orton. Not much to say about this one. I couldn't really come up with anything. Just a new head sculpt is all we can really ask for. Maybe some cool knee pads. Next up is going to be Lacey Evans. Now, I really don't think anybody... I mean, unless it's a really good updated head sculpt for Lacey Evans, I don't even know what you could do. Maybe a serious face Lacey Evans. Maybe you could fix it up, put that head on the Elite 76. That would be really cool to fix that figure up because that's a pretty good women's figure for Lacey Evans. Even though I'm not a fan, I think that could be make for a really good fix-up if it's a good head sculpt. Next up is going to be a first time in the line, guys. We finally are getting a Dominic Dijakovic. Going to be very interesting to see how he looks, how the head sculpt looks. Hopefully it turns out all right, and maybe it will be an easy transition from basic to elite, depending on what formulas we have to come up with, but maybe they can turn that into a good head sculpt that we can use for an elite figure or something like that. So we finally are getting Dominic Dijakovic. We've been waiting forever for him, it seems like, but he is finally here in our collection, so that would be really good there with Dominic Dijakovic. And the last figure in Basic Series 119 is going to be Triple H. Now, this one's very interesting to me, and um, I don't know if you guys remember. I'm sure you do, because it's one of, to me, it's one of the better basics or the best figures they've really ever made. It's like up there. It's very underrated, but the battle pack with Daniel Bryan and Triple H. Do you guys remember that suited figure for Triple H? They really need to make more of those, dude. I know they changed the articulation, and we also had that NXT basic Triple H that got cancelled so many years ago, but that Triple H figure was so damn good because it had like elite articulation. It came with the handcuffs and the Daniel Bryan. Really, really underrated. I remember getting that Triple H from Kmart in like 2016 or something like that, and I remember that being a really good day for me. So, yeah, that, I mean, that, that figure right there was bomb AF. Hopefully this, this basic, it won't be. It definitely won't be, but that would be cool to see, you know, something in a, in a suited Triple H body for a basic. And then the last basic series that we have, guys, is going to be Basic 120. Now, starting off, we have Edge. I really don't know what they're going to do. I'm sure it'll just be a basic version of one of his figures we just got, right? The Guns N' Roses attire, the WrestleMania 36 attire, or the Royal Rumble Ultimate Edition attire that we're getting. It will probably be one of those. I don't really know what else it could be unless it's a promo gear, which I highly doubt for a base. I feel like they don't really do that because they used to do that with the t-shirts series and stuff, and I, I don't know. I feel like it's usually ring gear nowadays is what we get unless it's specifically a battle pack. I feel like battle packs are usually more promo gears, but this is a basic. We'll see about that. Next up is going to be HBK. HBK has to be the bald head sculpt, right? Unless it's a throwback Shawn Michaels, which would be cool. I would hope that it would be a new head sculpt if we were getting a HBK from the, you know, from the early 2000s. Watch it be a freaking Ruthless Aggression era Shawn Michaels. I'll kick my own ass if that's the case, man. Like, they never give us Ruthless Aggression era HBK HBKs, and then when they finally do, watch it be a basic, man. Hopefully it's the bald HBK because the, I, I, I want elite Ruthless Aggression era. If we, if we get freaking a Ruthless Aggression HBK in this wave, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. So hopefully that's a bald HBK that we've been waiting on. Next up is going to be very interesting, guys. They're putting Karrion Cross and Scarlet Bordeaux in this wave. So Scarlet and Karrion Cross both making their ways into this thing. And they're putting them together, which is very interesting because we're getting the Elite 80 five carrying cross as well so that is going to be really epic to see a scarlet and cross in the same basic wave hopefully the figure's head sculpt is phenomenal like jesus christ i hope they can capture you know what she looks like in the basic figure same for carrying cross i'm guessing he'll have the same exact head sculpt that his elite has and he'll look pretty much it'll be basically
basic to elite conversion if I had to guess but putting that scarlet up next to our elite carrion will be really really sweet definitely gonna have to do that that'll probably be a basic that I pre-order for the elite review and so that will be really nice but shout out to BEW animations for this custom or these customs because they look so damn good he killed it and hopefully Mattel can replicate what he did on these figures but there is those and then the last figure in basic series 120 guys is going to be Pete Dunn now Pete Dunn hopefully it's just a really good head sculpt we haven't seen a new one since elite 75 that's been a while now that was over a year ago now or right at a year ago so hopefully this basic will have a new head sculpt and it'll look good and everything and maybe we can do a uh, head swap on surgery or something to update it and make it look good maybe put it on his elite 64 or something do some really cool stuff with that but that is not all guys we also have some champion showdown championship showdown two packs that i want to give a huge shout out to my man unstable 1047 christian you guys know about him already i want to give a shout out to him because without him i wouldn't know about these championship showdown packs so three different sources here today on the channel for the news but this one is going to be pretty interesting the first showdown pack you guys know the showdown packs where it comes with like the side plates or whatever you can put on the championship or whatever for the toy belts this one is going to be seth and drew i would guess it would be from money in the bank now this is very interesting to me and another thing going back to the elite 86 rollins is i would say that it would be a 2020 SummerSlam rollins but can you make a figure that fast i just don't see them making a figure that fast turning it around like that for seth rollins so I don't know. I, I, I highly doubt that would be the case. He was in the Rey Mysterio gear from SummerSlam, but I doubt they can make a figure of that super, super quickly. That would blow my mind, though. If they were able to do that, that would be amazing. But I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But if it was SummerSlam 2020 for the Elite 86 Rollins, it would be in that Rey Mysterio WCW gear inspired. And that would be fire AF. So I, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. That would be really amazing. But I would guess that this championship showdown pack will be Seth and Drew from the uh, from Money in the Bank there in the Monday Night Messiah gear. Next up is going to be Riddle and AJ. I'm guessing Matt Riddle will be in the Washington gear in the purple and gold, and then AJ Styles is in whatever with the Intercontinental Championship, you know, the little feud they had uh, going back. I feel like that was like three months ago. What was that? How long ago was that ish? Nonetheless, there you are with that showdown pack. Next up is going to be Kofi and Morrison. Hopefully, this Kofi Kingston and John Morrison are going to be from WrestleMania because the WrestleMania attire, I'm pretty sure it was WrestleMania. Remember, he had like the rainbow hair and everything like that. That was really sick. I hope we get that head sculpt for Kofi, and I hope the paint detail's good. I feel like an Elite would be the way to capture that, but maybe they were able to replicate that rainbow hair onto the basic, and I would love to do some fix-ups with that rainbow hair. Kofi, next up, guys, is going to be very interesting, and Unstable covered this in his video. He said that there's usually only three in the series, but this one was a fourth one, but it's not confirmed, and it was going to be Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle. So we do know that Kurt Angle really isn't with the company anymore. He's not under Legends contract unless they re-signed a deal or something, but Eddie and Kurt Angle together in a championship showdown pack this would have to be from wrestlemania 20 right it would have to be and hopefully you know the figure would look really good i guess they just rehashed the legend series head sculpt for eddie guerrero but for kurt angle and everything that would be a really cool moment to get especially if you keep it mock or get it autographed by kurt or something that would be really really sick there to see from wrestlemania 20 but that is pretty much going to do it for all the news guys tons and tons of stuff i told you there was a lot of stuff going on so i hope you guys did enjoy and talked about all the knowledge and everything like that but we had elite 85 elite 86 basic series 119 and 120 and then we had the championship showdown packs but a huge shout out to dougie nunya again a huge shout out to mac decals bew animations um geek exclusive underscore baby on instagram and of course unstable 1047 for all of this news all the custom images and stuff but that is going to pretty much do it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy tried to get all of it knocked out as soon as possible but it was a lot of information to cover but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed the images and everything and you guys can let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below before we get out of here we do have one more shout out and that is going to go to the great Ocon for his comment on our video yesterday for our surgery he says 1547 i remember you saying that in the aew ring review and if you guys don't know what clip he's talking about he's talking about you got a lot of something special going on there young man you got a lot of something special going on there young man so that is exactly what he's talking about there so i appreciate the great Ocon for the comment guys if you want a random shout out in a future video leave me a comment subscribe to the channel turn on the bell leave me a like and you could earn yourself a a free shout out in the next video so leave me a clever comment leave me a random comment just like the great Ocon here and you could find yourself in a shout out but if you find yourself in a shout out or don't find yourself in a shout out don't ever forget to not cross the line you cross the line i've been